my mission to begin with was, can I make a helmet people actually want to wear? Um, and more than that, can I make something so it would encourage people to move around cities better? We started Thousand back in 2015 as a Kickstarter project. I was a longtime biker, never wore a bike helmet. Uh, if I'm honest, I just kind of thought they looked a little goofy looking. And my background is more in philanthropy and design. So I was trying to think through what are kind of cool helmets. Um, and I kept on coming back to this time in the 60s where there's Steve McQueen and there's really cool vintage cars and all of that stuff. So the concept was, could you find like a really cool vintage helmet in your grandpa's basement, um, but with all of the modern features and colors, materials, finishes you'd find today. When we design new products at Thousand, I think one of the biggest things in mind is we, we call it human-centered design. So we are always trying to solve problems. Um, and in the way we always do it through our design philosophies, we do it through simplicity, making things really convenient and easy to use. Um, we do it through style. That means really high quality colors, materials, finishes, and then also sustainability. So again, how can we kind of push the boundaries of what we're doing for the environment? Thousand's biggest thing is like, can we design something for the customer that they really want to wear versus putting a bunch of PSAs out there why you should wear a helmet? Like, can we actually create behavior change for I would say is the biggest thing we try to focus on here. I think one of the best descriptions of entrepreneurship someone's ever given to me was jumping from fire to fire with enthusiasm. So I'd say, yes, there's challenges at the beginning of Thousand, but there's, I think there's challenges every day. Um, it just depends on if you've got a spot fire for the week or you've got a wildfire for the week. One of Thousand's great attributes is, for us, we believe we're more than a helmet company, an urban mobility company, or accessories company. What we really want to be doing is pushing the boundaries of what it means to be a company that cares. That comes from donating 1% of our revenue every year. That comes from uh, offsetting 100% of our carbon emissions. Thousand started with the intention to help save lives and to connect people to their cities better through urban mobility. The two are really tied. My hope and my belief is that more and more people will move towards e-mobility as a way to get around. And for me, I want Thousand to be there to help get people the gear they need to help them travel more safely and seamlessly through cities. Infrastructure in cities is the big barrier for people to feel safe to get around on, on, on an e-bike, on a bike, on, on any other such things with two wheels. I would say for me, really passionate about trying to improve infrastructure in the U.S. Uh, I partner and I'm on the board of a nonprofit called People for Bikes. People for Bikes' mission is to get more people on bikes more often. And I think one of the biggest and coolest initiatives they have right now that Thousand's trying to support is the Great Infrastructure Bike Project. Um, and that means they're trying to build thousands of priority lanes across the country for exactly that reason, to help people get around from point A to B better. I have a Pace 500 Aventine bike. I've been riding it around now for a few months. And for me, it's kind of crucial. Um, I commute every day to work, so I got rid of my car uh, earlier this year. So it's been my daily rider to get to and from the office. My commute to work's pretty easy. It's just a mile or two, and that's on purpose. I've always loved riding my bike to work. Uh, so I've always tried to live within a couple miles, so it's nice and easy for me. I would say what's great about Aventine bikes and just bikes in general is people don't realize you can kind of customize all of these little parts. Um, so kind of whatever colorway or whatever theme you're going for, if you're trying to make it more minimal, if you're trying to make it more maximal, bikes are part of you, they're customizable. So for me, they're always something I try to express my personality through a little bit. And honestly, I just feel like I'm not stuck. Like I think that's what's really beautiful about being on the bike. You, you feel more free.